Welcome to the island of Gia and this little island is just off the coast of the Kintyre Peninsula on the way down to Campbelltown in Argyle and Butte and I'm here for 24 to 36 hours we'll see how it goes and I've got a plan to do a circuit of the island which is easier, it's easier said than done but I'm delighted to have you along with me. It's been too long. Let's see what we can find. So how are you keeping? Good. Me too, I'm okay as well. So what do I know about gear? Well, it's about, I think a mile across at its widest and about seven mile long. And what I'm going to try achieve over the next 24, 36 hours is about a 15 mile loop. Which is, like I said, easier said than it sounds. But, um, no, easier done than it sounds. No, it sounds easier than it's actually done. Yes. Because there's a road that goes up and down the middle of the island. And I'm going to be searching for some tracks that may or may not exist. But it's good to have you along with me and it feels like spring sprung here there's a lot of color the daffodils are looking beautiful fantastic along the road edges and the gorse is looking beautiful and the shoots on the shrubs are well weeks ahead of where we are it's all good this is turning out to be quite perfect now as the sun has decided to show its face on this lovely little island which is putting a little skip in my step and it's quite windy I'm getting a bit of protection here from this woodland here but the winds are going to be up to around 20, 25 to 30 miles an hour for the majority of the day so when we get up to the higher points of the island that are a bit more exposed we're going to feel it there but it is meant to drop down round about tea time which will be when I'm kind of looking to pitch the tent and settle down for the evening and then it's going to be very cold so it's meant to be quite frosty move from a northerly wind through to an easterly but the wind will drop with it and then rain force forecast for tomorrow but hopefully I'll have finished the circuit by then and then be back on my way on the ferry home but let's not talk about that right now. Definitely stepped off the ferry into springtime, but I'm actually heading down to Gears Airport now or Airstrip. I don't know if it's tarmac or grass or but um, that's at the southerly point of the island and not too far away now. Down at the south end now, so this is the southern tip. And I've come basically down here and all that kind of stuff, and that's where I am now. So the airport you can see is there, so it's a turf airstrip. So my plan is to come around here, 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 and then back up here, and then I'm going to cross back to the island store up here somewhere to get some provisions. We've got harbour seals and the great fleet of King Harkon the Fourth of Norway lays here before the Battle of Largs. It's all going on. Mm -hmm. 
Where were we? Anyway, way markers, there seems to be these nice little posts that you can just about spot to get yourself around this coastline and um, well it's a great help and whilst I thought these these paths or routes were going to be quite obscure they're clearly well waymarked and that's excellent news so at the southern tip proper now and uh, you can see where I've come from, where that kissing gate was and the, and the small pier down there across the beach and then around this uh, dry stone wall the way markers are excellent, they've really thought well about where to put them They're all, they've all got good sight lines and uh, well it can't be cheap to invest in this kind of thing so well done gear community for doing that Great path so far as well and not very wet at all, all good. the west coast now of Gear and uh, cracking path really good path this is heading back down back towards the village center where the general store is and some nice little interpretation panels along the way which tell the stories and all that kind of thing which we like the fantastic views out over Eilie and Jura you can see Jura just there The wind's not as bad as I expected it to be, or it was forecast, so fingers crossed that stays... Well, it certainly doesn't get any worse, because it's making for a very enjoyable day out. You alright, mate? Do you need any help? I'm not that far from the, the village now. The uh, the last couple of miles have been pretty tough going. Very, very, very agricultural. I think I'm I think I'm following John Wayne and his posse who are on the trail of cattle rustlers. My goodness me. Right, I've lost my track. So whereas I thought there were a track popping back down to the village, that has completely disappeared. So it's a little bit Okay. Underfoot, but I think I've probably possibly only got I don't know 500 yards. The, the danger is I'm going to end up in somebody's back garden. Right, I managed to get down off these fields. A lot of brambles, a lot of uh, cattle runs, and everything that comes with cattle, but it's delivered me into the backyard of a little church.
all fed and watered now and um, having come down through the church the actual general store is straight across the road so that was perfect popped in got myself some lunch which was really nice sausage roll some crisps some uh, juice which were good and a drop of red wine a bit of cheeky little Shiraz for tonight which will be also very nice and they also topped my water bottles up as well so not friendlier people you couldn't wish to meet very nice they've got all kinds of keepsakes and gifts in there as well so they open again at nine o'clock in the morning so when I'm coming on my way back out towards the ferry I shall pop in and see if we can find something for Mrs Baldman but highly recommended and uh, it's always nice to give the islanders a little bit of business right I've got about an hour's walking now up towards these beaches I think the most of it's tarmac because I'm not going to try and get back across those farmers fields and back through there because it was very very heavy and very sloppy and brambly and uh, so if I can see something I shall show you but ultimately they will just give you a couple of views of the road up here and then we shall see you up at the top where the beaches are Good afternoon to you, how are you? Nice to see you. Hello Coos. Right, I've arrived. I'm here. I'm tired. I've had a good scout around just to see. And whilst that beach has a bit more protection than this, the wind is meant to die down a bit, so I'm taking a bit of a gamble. I also think that the tide's at its highest, and again, that's another gamble. But it's a nice spot. I've probably got a couple, or maybe an hour or so's light left. That'll do me. And if this wind does drop, then it will be a lovely, lovely camp tonight. So I just need to get this tent put up now and uh, get these boots off and rest my feet. And we'll be in a great place. Sun's about going down now and it's getting cold. I'm not too sure how quick this wind's going to drop. I've just had the drone out and about and um, it's only just coping in this wind. But... Uh, doesn't matter even if we get just a little bit of an idea does it if it works it works that's the best thing about it I'm just relaxing now I'm, uh, I've just had a bit of a mooch around and I've got a time lapse going over here as well but that sun is going to disappear in the next 10 minutes and then it's going to be very very cold but a clear sky so with the, the moon's out at the moment but it's only a small moon so we might get a decent star show tonight which would be pretty good, wouldn't it? I'm going to get something to eat. If I don't see you again, I'll see you in the morning. I'll leave you a couple of, couple of images from this camp spot.
not too sure what's going on here, but I've got visitors. absolutely no idea what that were about just about to tuck into my tea definitely looking for somebody because they're back again it's still hovering around in the distance just behind the hill over there hopefully nobody's in trouble right I'm getting back in my tent it's freezing that was all very exciting wasn't it sounds like these boys are back again in the helicopter there must be somebody in trouble out there that's me done now for the night it's just after half past eight and um, well it turned out to be an exciting end to what was a fantastic day really enjoyed myself I hope everything was okay for everybody concerned with regards to Coast Guard search and you just don't know do you right I am done it's been a great day so on that bombshell, I shall leave you now and bid you good night. Right, I'm off to bed. Good night. Bye for the new. Good morning, I'm up. How are you this morning? Good. I'm not bad. I'm not bad, I do. A very, very heavy sleep. And, uh, well, it seems to have rained in the night, but I didn't hear anything. But everywhere's very wet. I feel a little bit beat up, but I'm okay. I'm just letting these surroundings wash over me. I'm having a bounty bar for my breakfast. I forgot my porridge. I'm just taking it easy to pack up. There's no rushes now. The wind's gone. See you in a bit. Coconut and coffee for breakfast. <clears throat> All packed up now, and uh, I'm going to head back the way I came, back down the road. I didn't have a signal last night on my telephone, so I couldn't see through any other routes that I could take in a loop. But um, it, well, we've covered the Isle of an Island, haven't we? And it's been excellent. But as always. Make sure you leave it as you found it, if not a bit better. Um, but what a what a lovely, nice and place to camp. Right, well let's look around and then we'll head off back down the road. There's rain forecast, but this was yesterday's forecast, so I don't know if it's changed or what time it's due at um, and my plan was always to try and get back to the car before that happened it's about half past ten now so I've probably got about an hour and a half walk back to the ferry so that's noon so that might be about right but anyway we'll crack on a little bit and uh, pick this up a little later.
back now in uh, Adminish and just got myself a, a drink and a chocolate bar for the return journey home. And it's been a lovely 24 hours on the island of Gia. Thoroughly enjoyed it. My takes are that the, the southern loop, which um, I took yesterday morning for the most of that, that was, that was the jewel for me. I really enjoyed that southern loop. I would definitely come again and explore a little bit more of that and, and do a camp down there. Uh, if they could, if they could link a little bit of a path up to return down behind the church, that would be fantastic. It took around, it took a, probably about 100 yards or something like that of bramble and bog and that kind of thing. If they could just get a bit of a path through there and that would deliver you back to the store. You could stock up and then uh, then return back up and then continue on the up towards the northern loop and I think that'd be fantastic if anybody's listening and you can afford it. The the beaches last night were good, very exposed though, particularly in winds, so I suppose you could find one beach which would offer you a little bit of protection, but I slept very well, if not feeling a little bit beat up this morning. Uh, but fantastic, I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed it. As ever, the people are lovely, warm, friendly. Although nobody did offer me a lift this morning when I were walking back, which I probably would have taken. I don't mind telling you. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope it's shown you a little bit more of this island or even introduced you to this island. Did you know it even existed? But um, fantastic little place, highly recommend it. Don't forget to shop at the store and put a little bit of business their way it's a very important and uh, well give us a thumbs is upsies we like them and I'll see you next time bye for the new